Hello, everybody, and I would like you guys to all meet Bertha. This is Bertha, and she is my Agent to Agent V2 drone. Um, I got her for sale um, for two hundred dollars, and she is my prized possession. <laughs> Um, so here is her remote. I'm gonna call, I'm gonna call it by her. Don't judge me. Um, and three modes. I love the remote on this. I'm not gonna do a whole bunch because what I'm mainly gonna be going over is the gimbal and the camera. My ongoing series now with this camera. Um, and I'm just gonna... Uh, this is the battery. It is absolutely monstrous. Um, why I'm going on about this is because I went from a Sumni X5C is, um, if you didn't know, like a $50 beginner drone, and it's it's just a really nice beginner drone. It doesn't have GPS. It doesn't have altitude hold. It doesn't it doesn't have return to home. It doesn't have any of those things. So, and the battery for a, a Somni X5C is, wait a sec, I'll get it. Okay, first of all, I'm sorry about the annoying voice in the background, but they're there. Um, uh, this is the Somni X5C battery. This is the original battery that it comes with. And it's the one I'll focus, there we go. And it is uh, 500 uh, milliamp per hour battery. Oop, sorry, as you can see, uh, right there, uh, 500, and this baby, focus, focus, is 2,200 milliamp per hour, and it takes three hours to charge. It's this thick. It's, it's like the size of my finger, and here it is, comparison, comparison to this one. There's the thickness. <laughs> so this thing is a huge upgrade. Um, I just wanted to show you guys that. And remote, so very nice. It it also the uh, I did a lot of research before. I always do a lot of research on my drones before I buy one or I make like a decision which one I want. Uh, the actual uh, one, two, and three, those modes are actually, uh, uh, like, they're, they're done wrong, so I did, so I put a little thing down here, I taped a piece of paper down here, manual, altitude hold, and threes, GPS position hold, um, and I will be going into much greater depth if you guys want me to do a, sorry, it's not in focus, a, um, uh, an actual review on Bertha. And you can see she actually does have a few scars. She has uh, some dirt. And I did, this is from whenever I crashed her once. Okay. What happened was, actually, I'll tell that in the uh, video where I'm gonna do a review of her. So if you wanna hear that story, watch that video. It'll be coming out pretty soon. Stay tuned. <laughs> um, so, what I'm really going to be going over in this video is how this camera works. <laughs> uh, okay. And uh, drone, like drone video. So, right here, I have a little uh, two axis gimbal. Uh, let me close that little cord up. And it kind of goes on there. And I looked on YouTube and there are no videos of how to put a two-axis gimbal on this drone, so I will be going over that in this video. Uh, so uh, let's get on with it. I'm going to change camera view and I'll be right back. Okay, so here we are, and you can't see my face, and uh, this is the drone upside down, tilted it upside down, that's all I really did, 
and um, so here it is. This is how it's supposed to be like this. So I'm just gonna take it off really quickly. And this is really annoying to put back on, but I'll show you guys anyways. Oh, and there we go. So you can see right here that uh, this is this is how it came all together. And um, so on the drone, Oh, sorry about that. On the drone, um, it's actually meant for a gimbal. It doesn't come with one. And I also put that sticker right there if you're wondering. It comes with the stickers. <laughs> and um, so it's actually meant for a drone, for a gimbal. Sorry. And like right there, you can see where the gimbal actually plugs in for its, so that it's meant for a gimbal. And on the remote, actually, hang on. There is a little thing where I can uh, like tilt the gimbal up, up and down, but for some reason that does not work with this guy. I think, I think my theory is is that this the the red one right there is for actual uh, power to the gimbal and the black one down here I don't know if you can see that but is for uh, actually like tilting it so that's my theory <laughs> um, but oh. so the first thing that you're supposed to do is uh, once you get this in the box you're supposed to take this off uh, it comes together like this, and you can just take it off. At first, I was afraid that this, sorry, this plastic right here would, like, just break. But I have done everything to it, and it hasn't broken yet. And by the way, look at that motherboard. It's huge. Um, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> um, and so you just take that off, and then... On the drone, you can see that there are little holes in the drone where you're supposed to uh, put the uh, gimbal in. So, and the gimbal came with little screws that you can, <laughs> that you can, um, <laughs> that you can, like, screw the thing in, screw the gimbal into the drone. So there are holes in the drone, and the screws came with the gimbal, so that you can screw on the gimbal to the drone. There we go. I got it. <laughs> um, just taking, checking to make sure it's not out of focus. Okay, we're good. And so we screwed those on, and uh, make sure to to have these screws as um, like as close this way as possible and by this way I mean the battery pack right here where the battery would go not the light you should put it near the battery pack because the battery pack oh my god I'm sorry because the battery pack is the front not uh, not the back the back is the light so that you can actually see the light and what the light is um, <laughs> blinking and flashing too. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, there's the battery pack in there. And so, now, uh, and why you want to do that is because, like, one of the screws that I had before I fixed it was like all the way down like in the middle or something it was barely off but I couldn't I could open the battery pack to about to about here and that was it and I couldn't get out the battery I couldn't charge it or anything so yeah I uh, see those little screws in there like that and I don't know if you can hear those boys, but I'm about to slit their throats. 
<laughs> so, <laughs> so, okay. So, now that you want to get the gimbal on, hang on, I'm gonna change camera view. Sorry, my mom just fixed uh, the drone that we were trying to, um, to fix, and she actually fixed it. So, good for her. I thought she didn't know anything about drones, but she watched YouTube videos, and she figured it out. So, I'm proud of my mom. Good job, mom. <laughs> so, um, uh, so, what you want to do is you want to see the way that you want to put it. So, it would be this way. With the, let me see if this is in focus. This is in frame. It's not. I'm sorry. Okay, so. Okay, this is in frame. This is in frame. Okay, so. Um, yeah, what you want to do is you want to configure it around until it is facing the correct way. And how you know that is the, this big thing is on the right side, well, on the same side as the little wires are popping out, not going out. So, and then the, um, the other thingy is in the back. <laughs> I don't know if that made any sense, but there you go. And uh, the camera thing actually fits for a lot of cameras, like this one. And uh, so, yeah, now I'm just going to show you how to put these back on. It is quite a hassle, and it is very, very annoying. I'm just going to tell you that. <laughs> Give me a second. Okay, so once you have, oh, there we go, the way that you want to put it, which is this way, um, you put the drone like the way that it's going to be facing which is me this way and line it up so that you don't get it backwards and put it on there and then since it's the easiest way to put it on flip it and don't move it because that's the correct way out of frame again. There we go. Okay. Alright. Okay, so what you want to do to put it on